Okay. Hi. Sorry about that. Oh, I, I forgot an important step. everyone. Hi, Paul. Hey, thank you. I mean, the, um, the white bit kind of is, but the, um, the yellow bit is just an apron. So, like, I can switch it out to the green. But, um, I ended up also getting a, um, like a waitress, um, apron that I'm going to be sewing onto this yellow bit because, uh, it doesn't have pockets and I need pockets and big pockets to boot. So I need to be able to carry my phone, kiddos toys, anything I need, etc. So, but yeah, thank you for I, I'm glad you like the lights. Uh, I caught, got them from, I think they're called Twinkling Vine or something like that. Twinkling lights or Twinkling Vine, Twinkling Tree maybe? That sounds right. So, um, yeah, the ability to add pockets is unlimited power. And I have a sewing machine so I can edit anything I want. Which reminds me, I need to also bug my father-in-law and be like, Hey, remember those pictures of the sewing tables that you were going to send me? When were you going to send those? Because uh, apparently he has some old vintage sewing tables from his mom. So. I agree. Women's clothing needs to have meaningful pockets. Because otherwise, I'm going to be steam ripping everything and adding them myself. And I give myself giant pockets, thank you very much. Legitimately did that to one of my dresses and everyone was like, Ooh, I love your dress. And I'm like, thanks, it's got pockets. They were like, did it come that way? Nope. I made it that way. And I've been wearing that since 2020, I think. I actually went to the website that I got it from to like buy a couple of more and they don't carry it anymore and I was mad about it. It was called a suspender swing dress because it's it's the black dress that I wear sometimes tis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so basically it has suspenders and it looks like a dirndl almost. And so like the suspenders are adjustable and that actually it's my knickers in a twist because um, one of the sides is just really like twisted and I cannot for the life of me untwist it. So I don't know how to fix that. Your roommates are loud. One specific roommate is off. I mean, they're gamers, right? They are gamers. So there's kind of a stereotype there. Especially with fighty games. Sorry. <laughs> or as as far as I'm aware, it was always my impression that fighty gamers were very loud. So I could be wrong. So another thing that I was thinking about doing with the vines, um, I realized I got off track, but I'll come back to that. So putting a pin in that. Um, it's not accurate. 
or it is coincidental. Um, one of the things I want to do with that is like eventually start adding like colored lights, potentially it like if they end up. Uh... I've got two phones going off with alarms now. If different lights start burning out, I'm going to replace them with like colored lights. So eventually it just turns into like, you know, a Christmas tree almost. I feel like that would be cool. And even more pretty. But, uh... I have been spending most of my morning um, setting up my new iPhone because my Pixel basically has been freezing nonstop. And so I went and I got a iPhone SE and... Um, it is not easy to get everything ported over. <laughs> it gave up the ghost. It literally froze this morning while I was doing stuff. I was just like, are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. But I finally got all the apps right. I got the background correct. And uh, I, I need to um, steal my self for the fact that I'm going to have to log into all my financial apps again and reset every single password because I don't remember any of them. <laughs> so that's not going to be fun. You found out that you snore. I snore um, when I'm really tired. And uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you too? Were, were you... Snoring along someone else, or who else was snoring? That's hilarious, actually. Somehow, I'm not surprised, though. I'm not sure why, but like, I I feel like you would be someone who snores. I don't know why I get that impression, but I just do. But it's not something ever, not something I ever really thought about before. I'm not saying it suits you. I'm just saying that it's something that I would expect from you, but I'm not sure why. It's just one of those in intuition things for some reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I... I snore when I'm exhausted or when my airways are kind of blocked. It like for an example, if my nose is stuffed up, um, then I'm start mouth breathing, and uh, it's yeah, the falling down water. Yep, pretty much. All right, it is time for us to switch to our video game because as my multiple phones were telling me. Uh, it is time for a video game, so I will get us switched on over. Okay. By the way, I don't sound like a um, robot today, do I? I'm assuming not, since no one seems to have been going, Oh my god, you're a robot. That's good. Time for the naughty game. Okay, let's see. Auto save versus doing this manual save because I always load the manual save. She couldn't have said anything with Tara threatening her. Finding a mame, getting checked up at the hospital, and meeting with Shoma, right? Maybe you got the TC purge. Tokiko was his mistress. Real secret relationship type shit. It's called Nirvana X. I saw mame at ION. How many legs do you like? 
six. <laughs> I want to drink till the morning with Yui. <laughs> That is a question. Uh, okay, so I've talked again. Freezer. You have a new setup? Absolutely. Uh, shoot me a picture of it. I guess we've talked to Gan already. Um, let's head to Ireland, I guess. Iowan Garden. Tama and I headed to Iowa to find Mommy. She was nowhere to be seen, neither was Kizuna or Iris, who were supposedly with her. I asked a worker if they saw the three girls. They answered, I saw them here before, but that was a while ago. Well, we tried. Let's go. No, wait. That person over there. Hello. Excuse me. Nice to see you again. This was this the person that we uh that was the character? Cuz you said she. The masked woman. Wink, sink. I need to hurry. If I don't. Regular clothes. Okay. Your mask is upside down. The body is the opposite. Uh, okay. What? What are you doing here? Why are you barefoot? Rats don't wear shoes. But you're not a rat. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> are you really a rat? <laughs> Go to the hospital already! <laughs> Your clothes are worn out. I forgot to put the mothballs in the dresser. What are you doing here? Breath. Where is it? Where is the main event taking place? Main event? And there she on. goes. What was she talking about? Maybe a Halloween event or something? Wrong season for that. Maybe she was talking about that one thing. What? Don't make me say it. You know what I mean, don't you? I absolutely don't. There's no point in paying further attention to her. We should head to... A different spot. Wait, hold on. Halloween is all about costumes. Speaking about costumes makes me think about monsters, which makes me think of uh, unidentified animals, UMA. My favorite unidentified UMA is the chupacabra found in Puerto Rico. It has big fangs in its mouth and it sucks the bloods of humans and livestock. It can jump over 15 feet. I don't remember the specific height, but it seems to be relatively small in comparison to other monsters. Okay. Uh, castle slide. Tree. Oh, wow, it's so big. <laughs> Tama, out of curiosity, was it Pewter who programmed your personality? Nope. <laughs> Then who programmed you? I don't know, but they were definitely an arrow grammar. So Date? Big tree. Sand, Sand, beaches, swimsuits. So perverted. You're reaching a bit, no? Mm-hmm. Sandbox. Building. It's the dormitory. Do you okay. know what pansies mean in the language of flowers? They usually mean, think of me, my dearest. Okay, and? 
<laughs> Forget it. I thought she was gonna go more dirty with that somehow. Um, set. Queen set. What's with this place? It's filled with lewd objects. <laughs> I think you're the only one who thinks that. It's like a seesaw of eroticism. A what? Playground steps. Well, we don't know that he can't program. Ryuki, that thing is criminally perverted. You need to arrest Richie right away. Springs, springs. It's a spring playset. Jungle gym. Jungle gym. What are you talking about? Tama, are you malfunctioning? All right, I guess it is. She wants to come to Cincy. Um, Sagan Residence, nice Japan branch. Sagan Residence. Let's go there. Tell me. I'm sorry. I think you're just one step behind. Mame was here, but she left with Iris to go somewhere. I see. Dang it. Uh, sofa. Tea. Low table. Cushion. Door. Pictures on the wall. Does Date come and visit you? Shelves. Refrigerator. Dining room table. Kitchen counter. Light. Microwave. Dining set. So, Tama had a lot of stuff to say about the playground, but she ain't got anything to say here. Lamp. Shoebox. Mysterious object. What's the mysterious object? I wanna know. Oh, me. Entrance. Teaching materials. Elementary textbook. House plant. Windows. Alright. I guess we're gonna be talking to her. Weak sink! I'm sorry, Mommy. Iris is taking a long time to get ready. Wow, she looks out of it. Mommy? Uh, about Date, that's what we want to know, obviously. Date and Hitomi had a deep relationship, I know that. Why do you ask? Well, um... I haven't seen Date in a while. I've been waiting for him, but... I'm sorry to ask such a delicate question. No. It's okay. What happened? Date's a dirtbag. Uh, where did Iris and Mama go? Anything off about Iris and Mama? Uh, anything off about Anything them? off about them? Like a state of shock or panic, maybe? Let me think. Iris seemed normal, but I do recall Mama seemed troubled. She didn't say a word while she was here. Like her head was somewhere else? While Iris was preparing to leave, she just stared off into the distance. I mean, that's fair. Iris has been through some old tragic things, so this is, like, just another day for Iris. I forgot to look at the blooms. Winter irises. Where did they go? I'm not sure. They didn't tell me where they were going. Honestly, after the last game, anything's just old hat for her. Sorry to have wasted your time. There's no such thing as wasting time when you're investigating. Even the most insignificant piece of information could be relevant. Ryuki, I've never seen you so positive. Maybe you're a good influence on me. 
That's a lie. Let's get going. We but need to find Mame. Thanks for the positive encouragement, I guess. Uh, Nye Japan branch. This is a crime scene? It was two days ago that Tokiko's oh, right. body was found we did here. Find Tokiko's. The investigation is still ongoing. So, what are you planning on doing here? Mame wouldn't be here. I didn't come here expecting to find Mame. You should go to the Nai's Japan branch. You should gain some valuable information there. We'll find out in a what bit. What valuable information could be here? I don't know, but let's look around. Uh, Detective Wink Sink. My brain is fried. Need some glucose. <laughs> I think I called him Detective Sundere. Caramel. <laughs> okay. Uh, window, big window, pond, the pond. Waterfall. Waterfall. Regulation lined. It's holographic. That's not gonna stop anybody. Door. Door to the president's office. Wait, that's the door to the president's office? Or like incoming? Because this is the president's office. House plant. Statue. Evidence marker. Office desk, laptop PC, it was Tokiko's. Office chair. Um, anything regarding Mame? Mame? It's this girl. Hmm. Cool. Don't recognize her. The image of a Mame that appeared in Riki's hand, that was a hologram. Shot out for my left eye, my main body. How cool am I, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, how are you? It's all right now, <laughs> because I am here. Half bites. Northern Mariana Islands. Smash! Someone knows the uh thing, I guess. Nanyapul X. Nice symbol. Okay. Um, any new intel? Yeah, there isn't anything here. It's our favorite inspector. Uh, who are you? Uh, so that's how it's gonna be. Well, I suppose it's not that bad. Is this getting a little too scripted? That's what the people want. Anyway, my name is Kagami. That's my line. <laughs> huh? Name? Did you forget already? <sighs> Fine. My name is Kagami. What's your name? Ka. K A. Ga. G A. Me. M I. Mm, what's your name? I already know his name. I don't need to ask again. I'm pretty sure I know his name. I probably don't need to ask. His name is, uh... What was it again? Very well. Mr. Ryuki, you can give me a nickname. That way, Ooh. you won't forget. A nickname, huh? Something easy to remember would be good, right? Exactly. How about... Kagami? That's an easy nickname to remember. <laughs> Why me? Ah, <laughs> oh, they took away the option. Uh, about Mommy. Do you know this girl? Her name is Amame Doi. Oh, I know her. She's a mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. That's true, but oh, how do you know you. that? Oh, um, well, I've been there a few times. I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. That's As creepy. An inspector? I need to know what's in. 
It's an important part of being an inspector. That's a tough sell. Do you know where she is now? Uh, no, I wouldn't know. I can tell you that she isn't working right now, though. I heard from another girl that she hasn't been feeling well recently. Right. It's unlikely that she'd be at Sunfish Pocket. Mame saw terror at the studio. And right after that, she saw Komeji's body. It's unlikely she'd be at work with all that going on. Hmm, where's Togoko's body? The body is long gone for the autopsy. It really is a shame. She was killed right before her birthday. Tokiko's birthday is February 15th. There was a huge party planned for her here. It really is such a shame. Hmm. All right. Hi, Detective. How's the Sundering going? Anything regarding oh, Amame? Oh. This girl. No. I don't know where she is. I see. Did you uh, make clues in the president's office? It's not a lead or anything, but it is interesting. What is? It's going to take some time to prepare. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Did you search the space downstairs? Mm hmm? You talking about the underground cathedral? It's off limits right now. There's concerns that it might collapse. So you don't know about the box? The box? There was a box there with a strange looking device. Tama, can you show the image? Sorry, I don't have it. What? Ryuki, when you went to the cathedral, you fell off the bridge, remember? The impact caused me to lose some of my memory. I was only able to recover up to finding Tokiko's body in the president's office. No backups? Because it was so deep underground, there was no signal down there. Come to think of it, there were some network problems. Exactly. So I couldn't upload the data to the cloud. Damn. Hmm. Interesting. Ryuki, I'm ready. That's what I mentioned to you earlier. Oh, please go ahead. Look at that pond over there. Yeah, what about it? Oh? Uh, hello. Is that? It's Tokiko's hologram. Her laptop was in the desk. There was a program running. This. I think it's some software aimed at these cultists. Needless to say, it's just an image. So she can't really interact with you. But she does talk. Lectures, even. <laughs> if you give her a topic, she'll give some pre-recorded response. You can choose from four. Moksha, gain, form is emptiness, and the allegory of the cave. There's other data in there too somewhere, but it'll take time to get at. Interesting. Uh, which should we choose? Moksha, form is emptiness, allegory of the cave, or game? Game? Okay. This world is a simulation. Thus, its creator must have created with intention. This intention we can never know for certain. So it's the same. But we can surmise and we can estimate. Imagine you attempt an action, but that action is prevented by something incomprehensible to you. It is reasonable to assume that action was something not considered by the creator. Contrarily, if you attempt an action and feel yourself compelled by some otherworldly force, it is probably something the creator did expect. Like rats trapped in a maze. Go in the wrong direction and receive a shock. Go in the right direction and receive a prize. Considering this, perhaps this simulation is actually a game. A game about escaping this inscrutable maze. Can you win this game? The creator probably wants you to. Interesting. Uh, which one next? Moksha, form is emptiness, or allegory of the cave? Moksha? Moksha, 
or enlightenment. One is only truly free when free from all desires. But this state of mind is not something that can be easily defined or described in words. It is implicit knowledge. It is not something you can understand without experiencing it for yourself. Imagine, for example, someone who has never seen the color red. It is impossible to explain to that person what the color red is. You can't truly understand the redness of the color red until you experience it. Moksha is similar in this way. So how can you reach Moksha? Among Hindu followers are those known as the Sadhu. They follow a strict spiritual path of penance in an attempt to reach Moksha. For example, one may stand on just one leg for decades, or try to roll across the entire Indo-Chinese continent. One may live on a bed of nails, another might strike his head upon a pillar thousands of times. Among Buddhists, there are the ascetics. They perform a thousand-day circumambulation, walking 30 miles a day around steep mountains. And they chant the mantras without pausing to eat, drink, or even sleep for nine whole days. It is said that the founder of Zen Buddhism, the monk Bodhidharma, sat cross-legged facing a wall without rest for nine years straight. But how do all these things achieve moksha? Is it because pain and penance cause your desires and thoughts to dull and disappear? That may be part of it. Or is it perhaps the state of nothingness that comes over you upon achieving these feats? One may come to the conclusion that desires themselves are illusory. Nyes has a slightly different interpretation. Do you know how a debugger finds bugs in games? They try to run into walls over and over and over again. They go to places that normal players won't go, or leave the game on for days. They do things that normal players don't do. Unpredictable actions that the programmers failed to anticipate. That is how bugs that weren't even considered in the planning stages are found. Does this remind you of anything? Hitting your head on a pillar a thousand times. Sitting toward a wall for nine years. What if these actions were not anticipated by the creator? What if these actions uncovered bugs in the real world? What if they revealed the seams? In other words, these practitioners of the extraordinary are trying to find the seams. Find them and achieve enlightenment. Learn the secret of this world, the truth. And so we believe that Moksha is this journey. Oh, hold on. What direction do I like? Right. I never, I really, really, really don't carry. Well then why did you ask? I've become a childy, tell me Mori. Bodhidharma meditated in the direction of the wall for nine years. There have been uh, idioms created about this since he was in the same position for so long. His limbs rotted off, which is why the Dharma dolls sold in stores look the way they do. Don't know if that's true, but uh, that's interesting. Kind of gross. Uh, form is emptiness. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. So reads the doctrines in Buddhist scriptures. Emptiness is not separate from form. Form is not separate from emptiness. Whatever is form is emptiness. Whatever is emptiness is form. Emptiness is sometimes translated as void or nothingness. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Everything in this world is false. False is this world to the core. Shotok Taishi, who spread Buddhism in Japan, said something similar. All is false. Buddha is truth. 
The first part of the quote is self-explanatory. The latter requires context. Buddha, in this instance, is being used as a substitute for the general concept of enlightenment, Bodhi, Satori. Thus, the quote can be interpreted to mean, the sole truth of this world is enlightenment. Everything else is a falsehood. I will give another example. The butterfly dream, a famous legend told by Xuan Tzu, one of the founders of Taoism. One day, Xuan Tzu was a butterfly in a dream. He awoke from his dream with a question. Was his being a butterfly a dream? Or is this world he awoke in a dream? Many notable people in history have had similar thoughts. These same questions have been passed down for thousands of years. Why is that? Could there be a truth hidden in all this? Anyone else's head starting to hurt? Alright, Allegory of the Cave. The Allegory of the Cave is a story first told by Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher. There are prisoners imprisoned in a dark cave. These prisoners have never witnessed the outside world. All they can see are shadows projected on the walls in front of them. Merely the shadows of grass and trees, flocks of birds. Even families of deer would be shown from time to time. But the prisoners who have never seen the outside world believe these shadows to be the truth, reality they do not doubt or question. One day, one of the prisoners unchains themselves and escapes the cave. They see real grass, real trees, real flocks of birds, and real deer. At that time, they saw the world as it truly is. Overwhelmed with emotion, they head back to the cave to tell the other prisoners of their discovery. Everything we've seen until now have been shadows, false images. The outside world is completely different. None of the other prisoners believe the escapee. Have they gone insane? They laugh. Do you understand this allegory? The escapee was enlightened with the truth and reached Moksha. So what about you? Do you plan to live your days chained in a cave, scraping by a living in a world of falsehood and fraud? Or do you plan to join us? The decision needs to be made. Please demonstrate your determination. Okay. That's enough. Well, that sure was something. Didn't help much, though. Not necessarily. This information might come in handy later. Heh. <laughs> if you say so. Explains a bit more about Nice. Anyway, there was no information on Amame. Let's go somewhere else. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Ushidera. That's why I named him Su Sundere, because it sounded like the same thing. Alright, last thing. We promised we'd go to the hospital. Oh, geez. Um. Hmm. I'm glad we had an open room for you. It's quiet here. You should be able to relax and focus on your treatment. Treatment? Oh, you don't have to worry about the paperwork for your stay here. We'll handle everything. Uh, hold on. My stay here? What are you talking about? Hmm? You don't remember? Remember what? Hmm, this is troubling. Uh, let's look at everything first. Window. Bed. Uh, TV. Bedside table. Curtain. Idols. Door. It's the entrance. Bathroom door. Cabinet. 
think. Alright, I think I got everything. Okay. Yep, got everything. We think. D Doctor! You shouldn't! You shouldn't be doing this at the hospital! Put your ball away! Uh, what? No playing Kusimon Go in the hospital! <laughs> Too smart to go. <laughs> wow. Uh, who are you? My name is Hanayo Nasu. I'm a nurse at this hospital. I used to go by a different name. You got married? No, the opposite. I got a divorce. So I'm going back to my maiden name. Okay. I don't remember who she married. Or was Nasu one of the uh, people in the um, Yakuza? I can't remember. Uh, how long have I been here? It's been a few hours since you arrived. A few hours? Impossible. Oh, Nasu. <laughs> Nasu is uh, pronunciation for nurse. Thanks for the info. Stay at the hospital? Mr. Ryuki, do you remember getting a checkup? I'm sure the doctor would have told you everything. No, I have no idea. I see. Then I'm afraid I'll have to be the bearer of bad news. Mr. Ryuki, you have what we call cognitive dysfunction. Sometimes you'll forget what time it is or where you are, even lose track of the people around you. It's all part of your condition. In addition to that, we believe that you have a short-term memory disorder. Tama, is this true? Yes, it is. This is difficult for me to say, but your condition is very serious. We need to begin treatment immediately. Hmm. Um, I'm going to get the files. I'll be right back, so please wait here. Excuse me. Okay, I went to the hospital like I promised. Now let's get going, Tama. What are you talking about? That nurse told you that you need to stay here. I don't have time for that. I need to solve this case. Please, Tama. Just three more days. I refuse. Fine, just one day. 24 hours is all I ask. Please let me do this. Please. I'll give you some chocolate later. Are you joking? You know I can't eat chocolate. No, I mean like, emotional chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah, fine. But you're only getting 24 hours. Not a second longer. Thanks, Tama. I don't know what <sighs> emotional chocolate even means. And so now we're leaving against medical advice. Great. After that, we searched all over the city to find Mame. We couldn't find her. The sun is setting. Let's give up on finding a Mame for now. No, not yet. There's one more place I want to go. I didn't mention it before now because I thought, considering Mame's mental state, it would be a long shot. But maybe... Hey, can you just cut to the chase? Where yeah, are you talking real. about? The maid cafe she works at. She's at the maid cafe, Sunfish Pocket in Akiba. Don't know. Yeah, there she is. Mommy, you were here this whole time? We were looking for you. And he's still Sorry not talking. Sorry to interrupt, but Mommy can't talk right now. I don't really know how, but she lost her voice. She, she must still be struggling with what happened at the studio. But then, why is she here at the cafe? 
Wait, Leon's here. What is he doing here? Seriously. Why are you here? I told you, I was going to meet Kizzy today. Then why she are you here with here. Mizzy? Uh, Kizzy. Where is Kizuna now? She told me a little bit ago that she's running late. She'll be here after she finishes shopping with Iris. Okay. Oh, is Iris coming too? Yeah, it was actually Iris who planned the night out. It was her idea to have a video night at the cafe. What does that mean? I don't really know, actually. All I know is, this wasn't a solo date with me and Kizzy. And he's mad about it. It's Leon. Uh, chair. Table. Menu? I wonder what doodle is. Oh, that? It's a service where one of the girls draws something using ketchup. That makes sense. Uh, one of the things I've always wanted to try if I ever go to uh, Japan is get Amu rice. Ah, it looks like the toy that I have. Though mine only has one tip. Tama. It looks nothing like that. It's a trident. Window. I saw something green. Menu. There we go. Uh, anything else? Whoop. Oh, barrel. Barrel made out of wood. I'm like finding. <sighs> Wooden box. Well drum. That looks like ring. a flotation device, but it's actually a calamari ring. I'm sorry, what? Life saving calamari ring, okay. Kitchen door. Kitchen window. No. Someone is yelling in the kitchen. Lights. Entrance. Anchor. There we go. Amame. Um. About the incident in Studio Devita. Terror, Horidori. Why are you here? Seeing that you're wearing your outfit, are you working today? Of course, it's Valentine's Day. There's going to be tons of customers here, and they need as many mermaids as they can get. So her manager begged her to work today. Even though she can't talk? She can write, but... Hmm. Uh, why did you go to Horidori Institute? Four days ago, on the 10th of February, you went to Horidori Institute, right? Leon told me. Hey, come on! Why did you go to Horidori Institute? Did you meet Tokiko there? Uh, about Terror. Mame, you ran into Terror at the studio, didn't you? Did they say anything to you? Like I said, Mame can't talk right now. I thought I told you. Uh, about this incident at Studio Devita. Hey, what happened at the studio? I just want a clue. Anything at all would be helpful. Hmm. I don't understand what Mommy could be thinking. What's going on in her head? Why don't you ask her to write something? Looking at her now, I don't think she'll write anything. Well then... Yeah. We should ask her heart. Using the sink machine. Yep, let's strap her in. Put her in the chair. Chair time. We haven't done a good wink sink in a while. Uh, where's Pewter? Good thing Boss and Pewter aren't here. I'm sure they'll chew you out later. You know it's a crime to use the machine without permission. 
You could even get fired for this. It's Wait. fine. If I get results, boss won't care. Hmm, you think so? Tama, can you control the machine? You can do it remotely, right? Are you really going to do this? Is that a function? Mame ran into terror. I'm sure of it. It's highly likely she knows something important. Please, Tama. Please help me. You're my only hope. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ugh, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll do it. I'm going to skip the warning message because I'm sure you already know. Okay, start it. Six minutes. What was that? Could you start, please? That's better. Here I go. Okay. Three, two, one. We sure did. Flashy lights, warning. Ow. Oh, this is interesting. This is... The Faith to Face set is still up. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, save real fast. That means... Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. We have the brand new star of the net world visiting us today. What? Please, show us your dance! You want me to dance? No, no, I'm not Aiba. I can't dance! Come on, let's see it! Ugh, I hate that look he gets in his eyes when he's ignoring me. Fine, I'll do it. Resist, allow your heart to take you. Never let this merciless world erase you. <laughs> that didn't really do it for me. <laughs> Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. Hi, I am your host, Andy's Komeji. It's Komeji. His facial expression isn't changing at all. It's creepy. It's this is a competition pretty, for the one and only pretty, Quiz King's throne. Creepy. And tonight, as always, we have a head-to-head -head battle between the champion and challenger. And of course, the champion is me, Andy's Komeji. The challenger is... Me? Can the challenger beat me? I don't know. I'm pretty good at this. What the hell is this? I didn't agree to this. I knew Mommy liked quiz shows, but I didn't expect her to dream about them too. The rules yeah. are simple. After five rounds of quizzes, whoever has more correct answers will be the winner. The winner will receive this amazing prize. What? The prize is a Mame? A Mame, please tell us how you're feeling. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Shy, huh? We'll talk to you throughout the show. The first stage will be right after these commercial messages. A mommy is the prize. What kind of show is this? I, I guess we have no choice but to accept the challenge. If we win, we might learn something about terror, too. Oh well. If this is a competition, I'm gonna do my best, Ryuki. I'll finish the scan before the commercials even end. Zomium scan! Mental lock one. Mental lock two. Oh, there's two different routes. I think three, four, five. Get information on terror. Is 
stage one. Let's begin. Who will be reading the questions? Very exciting. I guess he's not going to read the questions himself. Makes sense. I wonder who it'll be. Hi, Mizuki. Mizuki? Hello, I'm Mizuki Date. Oh, I don't really get terrifying. trivia questions or whatever, but here's the first one. Stage one is the scavenger quiz. We filled the studio with different items. Please choose the item you think is the answer. Quickest to answer wins. I guess it's like a scavenger hunt? Guess so. Here's the first question. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. Huh, that's the question? Jeez, a tough one right from the start. Mame liked watching quiz shows as a child. She enjoyed seeing more truth, more of the truth the more she answered. Oops. What phenomenon do you like? Poltergeist, echo, ectoplasm, near-death experience, or rapping sound? Sure. I've done it before. E uh, I'm sorry, what, Iwali? <laughs> You've done it before, E? Uh, it's sus. Okay, um, let's think. What should we choose for this question? There is no correlation between them. There doesn't seem to be a correct or incorrect answer. I'm most curious about the labels. I think they're evidence markers, to be exact. There's numbers, letters, tons of different things. I wonder what it means. Another thing is the background music. It's not a very good jingle for thinking about your answer. Uh, headphones, maybe? Shoma's headphones? Why is this the answer? I thought with the music playing and all, the answer might have something to do with headphones. I see. So the answer is headphones. Oh no, that's not it. I think we're on the right track. Amame was troubled, but she always chose the blank, blank, or blank. She chose the blank. This? Hi, Bollies. Uh, elephant trinket. I think that is. Metal pipe. A Volkman. <laughs> Instead of a Volkman. Volkman. Walkman, the song sorry. again gave to a mame. It's inside that cassette tape. But why did you think this was the right answer? The BGM and this label. I just connected the dots. Good enough reason for me. The answer is Vilkman. Oh, hey. Good job, Challenger. That's correct. Good job, Ryuki. It was the ninth, so I chose the label with a nine. Oh. You sound like you could do this all day. The huh? name of the music. Did you say Date? Ninth Symphony. Uh, no. <laughs> what are you, in love with him or something? Mame's always listening to Gen's song with this. Okay, so there are no branching paths. Mame was troubled, but she always chose the right option. Now let's move on to the next question. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. It's the same question again. BGM is different. Uh, is that Beethoven or Bach? The answer is this. No, that wasn't right. Uh, maybe? Is there a five anywhere? No, it's the sixth. Sunfish pockets omelet rice. Something related to Mame is the answer. 
So I think this works. The answer is omelet rice. Nope. Hmm. I guess the question wasn't meant to be so personal. That seems to be the case. Let's think about it. There's a five in the other direction. She collected sounds. She became blank from blank. The answer is this. Oh. Dang it. Kameji got it. Correct, champion. All right. So I get I'm two options. We almost had that one. We should or really I get think three tries. Through. Sorry. When in doubt, two tries? get over on the contestant seat. This is the last question of stage one. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. It's the last one. Let's get this. I've heard this song somewhere. Oh gosh. See, this is a puzzle that my mom would actually be really good at. Because she's what a music the major. answer this time? If we retrace our steps, the hint should be right there. The BGM? Yes. I think it's definitely related to this song. I don't remember the name of this song. Ryuki, do you know the title of this song? Uh, just tell me the answer. This is Box Air on G String. Right, <laughs> the thong song. The musical so G. string, not a thong. But now I know the right answer. <laughs> it's the robot Shoma. No doubt about it. The correct <laughs> answer is this mono wheel robot. The challenger is correct. Thought this would be a bit harder. The BGM is air on G string. The robot with the G label is the correct answer. That's right. This robot is surprisingly strong and fast. She became good at gleaning info from sounds. That's the end of the scavenger quiz. Let's look at the results. The challenger is in the lead. Can they take the champion's throne? I guess this shows the standings. We're in blue. I've seen a quiz show like this before. It's Mame. Something is wrong with her. Why? 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 What? Oh, that hurts. What did she say? I couldn't make it out. She's not doing too good. Oh, hey, it's Iris. Stage two is brought to you by me. A said, you bet. It's Iris this time. That's Iris really kind of weird. That's something you don't see every day. <laughs> I'm sure my fans know this about me, but I'm really into the occult. So my questions are going to be about occult things. The name. I will show you a chart. Please answer with a name or word. Here is the first question. Which of these represents a historical secret society, and can you name it? Hmm. It's either A or B, right? Yeah, but we need to answer with the actual name, not A or B. Okay, so one of these represents a secret society, and we have to name it. Let's think about it. Begin. What should we say? I know. Uh... The answer is B. Freemasons. The challenger is correct. It's the Freemasons. Well done. The Freemasons are said to have existed since the 16th century and have members all over the world. And my dad Their is one of them. Their purpose and recruitment tactics remain a mystery. Hey, it's okay to talk about them like this, right? We're not 
in trouble, are we? It should be fine. It's just Iris's opinion. Well, I guess Mame's opinion. By the way, A was the office I'm from. Lemnisgate. <laughs> <laughs> When in doubt or hiding something, she chose the blank. Here comes the second question. Thanks, Lee. Many unidentified mysterious animals, or umas, have been discovered. Which one is smaller? An uma question. I'm not too confident here. Have confidence. Judging from the characteristics of A and B, this could be easy. Begin. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a break. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the game and save. And we are going to go on break for about 10 minutes. So. Okay. What kind of music do I like? Uh, symphonic is probably the closest. It's like sponge cakey. What? No, it's not. All right. Uh, fangs, leap, blood, Puerto Rico, livestock, footprint. Dog organ for Patterson Glim. Which UMA is smaller? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican one. What should we say? Chupacabra. How about B? Chupacabra. Correct, Challenger. Good answer. Bigfoot A is up to 10 feet tall. Chupacabra B is no more than 6 feet tall. Damn, that's still bigger than I was thinking. Scary. They could be the same size as you, Ryuki. Uh, a is Bigfoot. That is a scary thought. Uh, updated keys. Amame was troubled, but she always chose the right option. When in doubt or in hiding something, she chose the option on the right. So always this is the, the last object question on the of right. the occult quiz. Which Locking of these two things affect the human psyche and behavior? A or B? Effect is sort of vague. There could be a lot of answers. I guess we're supposed to choose the best representative answer. Begin. Uh, so propaganda. What should we say? Um. There's no way I can say propaganda. So. Subliminal? The answer is B. Subliminal. Nice. Correct. Marvelous. Imagine watching a video and a juice container appears. Even if it's only for a split second, faster than the brain can even consciously register it, the viewer is struck by the desire to buy juice. That is the subliminal effect. Maybe all of us are subconsciously affected by someone or something. Now that you mention it, I do kind of want some juice. You're just thirsty. That is all for the occult quiz. I wonder what the panel looks like now. Well, 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 the challenger is keeping up. That's it for stage two. Three stages left. 
Let's keep it up. We've only lost one. Oh, Amame showed up again. Why did this? Nice buns. I literally can't look at that screen because it hurts. There's something about Mame. Is it about the case? I don't know. We don't know enough to say for sure. The prize is Mame, right? If we win, we can ask her directly. Oh, hey, now it's Gen. I, Gen Ishiagane, will be asking the questions. Gen next. Stage three is spot the difference. Huh? Spot the difference. But... The challenger will attempt to find the differences from there. Find the differences? There are three monitors in the room. What is shown on the screen is different from what is actually there. You have to spot these differences. Compare the monitor and the real scene. There are four differences. Okay, we just need to compare things. Doesn't seem too hard. Don't be so sure. There's a ton of stuff to look through. We gotta be careful. Now we will begin. For one, in the monitors, Mizuki is not um, up. And because uh, Kizuna is also not up. Mizuki! Mizuki! She's not moving at all. No. We can ignore why she's bloody for now. But in any case, this looks like a difference. That is correct, Challenger. Ugh, it hurts! Mizuki? What's going on? Yeah. Amame came across many blank, 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 dot, 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 blank. So, Kizzy. Eyeballing? Uh, Kizuna is over here. Kizuna! Kizuna! No reaction. She looks different from the monitor. One difference is Kizuna. That is correct, Challenger. <laughs> Kizuna? She disappeared. Uh, she came across many wounded things. Blue person is different, and also the magazine is different because it's showing as a wrench. Uh, let's do the magazine. This magazine was in the studio, too. It's in pieces, though. Should we piece it together? No, I think this is fine as is. I see. It's a difference. That is correct, Challenger. Got another one. There is a blue figure on the monitor in the same place. How does that relate to the book? Uh... Oh. It's blood. 
This is creepy. Yeah. Very creepy. Uh, wounded things. Important things. A heart, blood, and blank. Um, choose mysterious person. The blue figure is split from top to bottom. I think it's symbolizing the case. Is that a wrench on the screen? How is it related? There's so much going on. I don't get it. But at least we can say this is another difference. So that's four that differences. That is correct, Challenger. Whoa. I don't know how to describe it. It's more... corpsey. Carries all of it inside. The challenger got all the answers correct. Good work. I am amazing. Though it's hard to celebrate after seeing that. Indeed. Whoa! This again? Oh, we made it back to the studio. Huh? Isn't that... Oh. Sheesh. Shouldn't make an old geezer walk so much. Ugh. It's the same as when the body was found, so it probably is. Well done. Champion is dead. Let's check the board. The challenger is putting up a good fight. If the game is still going, can the champion continue? Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ryuki! I wonder how they changed that in Japan. <laughs> because uh, one of the rules in Japan is um, you can't show blood. So they changed the color of blood splatters to white. So I wonder how that particular scene turned what out. Was that blood? This is way too deep. Good work, Challenger giving me a run for my money. Andy's Komeji. Other than the voice, he seems to be okay. And he's wiggling. I see that you're quite capable, so now it's my turn to deliver the quiz. The fourth stage is the ultimate 50-50. That was competing looks against really him. bad. Yeah, the way he is now, he obviously can't answer any questions. The rules are simple. Answer the questions as quickly as possible, on instinct. Challenger, go sit at the deluxe chair over there. There are ten questions. If you need to use the restroom, do it now. It's fine. I've never used the bathroom in my life. What? Do you have an image to maintain? In <clears throat> any case, let's begin. Question. Which would you rather eat? Poo flavored curry or curry flavored poo? That what if question has been around forever. I didn't know there was a correct answer. Hmm. Uh, I can't put anything in my mouth that's poo flavored. The answer is curry flavored poo. Guess I was right. Humans are terrifying creatures. You'll eat anything as long as it's curry flavored. At that point, I'd say we're going beyond ordinary humans. <laughs> Next question. If you could use a time machine, would you go to the future or the past? Another question with no right answer? Is this how it's going to be? Hmm, that's a hard question. That's an easy one. I want to change my past. 
The answer is the past. Oh, also sure remember, all, uh, yeah. Amame always answers things on the right. Next question. Which would you rather have? An ideal job or an ideal lover? I already have my ideal job, so... Ideal lover. <laughs> what? Are you angry? No, I'm not angry. <laughs> She's angry. Next question. Be truthful and be poor, or lie and make money. Which would you choose? Well, I'd rather be rich than poor, so... The answer is lie. Should a police officer really be saying that? Well, maybe that was a lie. Next question. Which is worse to lose, the father or mother? I mean, both, but... I don't think there's any good choice here. The mother? The answer is mother. Why did you choose that? Uh, I felt like it. Next question. Which would be worse to lose, sight or hearing? Hearing. Hmm. I don't get excited if there's no voices. The answer is hearing. What did you mean by that anyway? Bodybuilding competitions would be so boring without a crowd cheering. Uh, okay. What? Next question. Someone important was hurt in front of you. Do you make the person responsible apologize or get revenge? Honestly, I can see why someone would choose revenge. The answer is revenge. Princess Bride all over at the time. I feel like a failure as a keeper of the peace. Well, I guess the level of revenge matters. If you kill someone, that would make you a failure as a keeper of the peace and a human being. Proof of the simulation. Next question. What would you do if your best friend and your family are about to die, but you could only save one? Uh, Let's see. Best friend? The answer is best friend. I wonder what the point of all these questions is. I'm going know. right because... Only two more left. She... She would choose that. And it's obviously right. Um next question. Yeah, because of the key. I but can never meet sorry. My loved one again. Sorry, Tiz, but I would choose my family. What do you forget? Or remember? You mean only the sad memory. I won't forget. I won't allow myself to forget. If I do, I think that all my memories of them would disappear too. The answer is to not forget. Yeah. Miyuki. Yep. My family is my future. Next question. Which do you choose? Have your biggest secret spilled or be part of some dangerous plan? Past versus future. Have your past secret exposed? Or your future compromised by some scheme. Part of a plan? I'll leave the past in the past and trust my future. So the answer is, be a part of a plan. This question was so vague with secrets and schemes and all. It's hard to answer. Yeah, it could be anything. That is it. The challenger answered all questions correctly, 100%. Uh, I think I would probably <laughs> puke if that happened to me.
This is what the standings look like. Now I think I completely understand you, Challenger. Is it time for the terror voice? The terror voice? No. Terror. 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 Dang it. I forgot the terror voice. Huh? What? Things are getting ominous. The Challenger now has the right to attempt the final stage. There are four total questions. If you get them all right, you win. What is this? Komeji's voice is... Question one. What is this face? Former Quiz King. Correct. What's this question about? Question three. Who was enlightened by the Nirvana Initiative? Uh, Terror. Mame must have heard about the Nirvana Initiative from him. Final question. I got threatened again. My only option now is... What do you mean? Correct. What? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it either, but... This is probably everything that's happened to Mame. The Challenger wins. That was it? Is it terror what was time? That? It's a neon evangelation, uh, evad evangelon reference. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely that. Oh, geez. Date. Elephants. Kizuna. Mizuki. Shoma. Talk to Mame. Quick! Amame, tell me. What did Terra say to you? Nirvana. Collected. Genocide. What? What do you mean? Tama, be more specific. Mame must have some kind of critical information. No, Ryuki, we're out of time! No! Let's get out of here! Didn't understand the last question.
awaken. Oop. There goes all the time. Wait, we have 25 seconds left still? Achievement unlocked. Causality. Interesting. Yeah, we're not becoming a mommy. Gotta split. Mind of God. Mommy is still sleeping. I think we gave her too much. We needed pewter. Anyway, that somnium. Those final words are thought provoking. Nirvana. Collected. Genocide. Something to do with the Nirvana Initiative? Probably. A bunch of people who watched it have gone missing. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location. And they're all getting murdered. So the rumors were true. Hmm. Ryuki, you've got a call. From who? Pick up and find out. Aiba? Quiet. Stop yelling. This is an emergency. What is it? Kizuna Chieda. She's gone missing. What? No. Ryuki, you can provide invaluable assistance. Will you look for Kizuna? Well, yeah. Of course. Understood. Good luck. Kizuna. Missing? It was her idea to have a video night at the cafe. Maybe Kizuna saw the video and... Nirvana. Collected. Genocide. That video, was it a list? A hit list? This HQ. Ryuki, you look more drained than a bathtub. <clears throat> are you okay? Yeah. But why are you sitting there? Are you there? able to get some sleep? No, not really. But it's fine. This is nothing. If you say so. I have questions. Do you believe in fortune telling? Uh. No. What would you say that? Why? What would you say that he? Okay. Uh, cabinet. Desk. There's so much stuff in here. Papers and magazines. Curse kill list. Christmas we need to three. make sure Kizuna has a merry Christmas. That's ten months from now. Police poster. Soba shop curtain. Origami chain. Masks. A mask. Ma That's where Kizuna is. Oh? Where? Somewhere around here. Ryuki, someone on this poster knows something. Bring them all in here for questioning. You just want to meet them, don't you? Mm, yeah. Here. Darts machine. Just a ball. Bookshelf. Uh, coffee maker. Maybe Kizuna is bait. Terror is trying to bait us. Could be, actually. Tanuki. Or maybe bait someone else. Like Leon, maybe? Pumpkin. Happy birthday. Star. Paint, uh, plant pot. Ribbon. 
I wish I could be reborn. Interesting. Ryuki, let me give you some advice. Those who sell water are up to no good. What kind of advice is that? And how do you know my name? That's the shelf. Bags. Trunk lantern. RC car. Computer. Monitor built in. We won't let that tragedy happen again. No matter what. Ribbons are hanging from the ceiling. Posters. The Kizuna key. is the key to this case. We need to find Kizuna right away. Petroska doll. Red liner. Door. Rug. We'll have to pull the rug out from under them. Let's look under every rug for Kizuna. That looks like a bowling ball, but it's actually a volleyball. It looks like a volleyball to me. Ah, you got me. <laughs> what? Soccer ball? Mm. Room. Showed you king piece. Alright, I think I got everything. Wait, Christmas tree? Coat hanger. Plaster figure. Alright. Now I've got... What would you do if Kizuna's found at a bathhouse? Ryuki, do you have the confidence to stroll right on in? Y yeah Happily! F for the job, of course. Ryuki? Sometimes you have no filter. Tama? Why are you looking at me? What are you doing? Is it comfortable there? Not bad. No, you are sweating a little. Because you're radiating heat. Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> same old, same old. Why do you ask? No, it's just... Oh, sta stationary bike. And flotation ring. Uh, why are you looking at me? Well, because. Because? Okay. Mm, stupid. You're stupid! The person who says you're stupid is stupid! The person who says you're stupid is stupid is stupid! Ryuki, are you doing okay? Like, mentally? You're the one who got him like this. Me? What did I do? Uh, you look tired. There's something important to me. It's something I love. It's dear, and it's irreplaceable. And I need to protect it, no matter what. So I can't be saying I'm tired or I don't have the energy. What are you talking about? I have no idea. How are you? It's all right now, because I am here! Half for all! Full time! Something! <laughs> something. Uh, why are you... Er... You okay, Ryuki? Your eyes are bloodshot. You need to get some sleep? That's because you've been staring at Boss's chest too long. <laughs> no! I was just looking at you, Tama. I wasn't thinking about how wonderful it would be to put my face in Boss's cleavage at all. Very convincing. <laughs> Alright, hi, Boss. Um... Anything on the HP case? Sorry, but I really don't have anything useful for you. <sighs> None of this is adding up. We want to discover Terror's identity, how they chose their victims, why they cut them in half. What is going on inside the head of a serial killer like that? I'd have a better chance of guessing what's going on inside the head of a teenager. Are you talking about your daughter? Yeah, 
She didn't come home last night. I was able to get a hold of her, so I know she's safe, but she worries me. She doesn't even seem to realize it. Maybe she got that from you. No, that can't be it. Because she's... Adopted. She can still get stuff from you even though she's adopted. Uh, anything on Kizuna? If I knew, I would have told you already. Needless to say, Kizuna's phone isn't any help. We asked her friends too, but none of them know where she is. Okay. Uh, how about the family? Well, it was Richie who first reported her missing. It was late and Kizuna wasn't home yet, so he called the police. He thought she might have been kidnapped for ransom, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So far, it doesn't look like the culprit has tried to contact the family at all. Okay. Uh, about the video? Kizuna disappeared after watching the video, right? I've heard the stories about people going missing after watching some video. It could mean that she's with the other people that disappeared. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location. And they're all getting murdered. I think it's safe to say that the QR video has to do with our terror. After all, the QR video that linked there was found on Jin's body. That connects terror to the disappearances. Meaning if we find where Kizuna and the others disappeared to, we might be able to find terror as well. In any case, you have one goal. Find Kizuna, no matter what. Finding her should be a breakthrough in the HB case. Right, but where do we even look? We need to turn over every stone. Ryuki, Tama, good luck. Roger that. Let's go. Impasta sitting on the desk. Okay. Wow. That is a lot of places. <sighs> Ikumi Shrine, Studio Devita, the Harbor Warehouse Districts, Sekiba High, Talent Agency, Lundisgate, Sagon Residence, Enda Residence, Matsushita Diner, Maid Cafe, Sunfish Pocket, uh, Iowa Garden, Kumakura Office, Ramen, uh, World Cuisine, Marble, Horidori, uh, Institute of Gene Genetics, and the Japan Branch of Nyes. That's literally everywhere we've ever been. Um, and yeah, it is time to end for the day. That is a lot of places. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Because that is ridiculous. Um, no. That, that was supposed to be end. So that's top menu. Oops. Yeah, that's gonna be... oof. Okay. Yeah, that's... that is a... That is a lot. Yeah, I'm glad you took some time to watch it live. I'm glad that you were here. I appreciate it. But, uh, that is, that is a lot. Um, so the schedule for next week provided that I don't end up uh, canceling or anything. The, the reason we didn't have um, 
stream was actually two different reasons. So uh, it wasn't just the fact that I hadn't figured out what was going on with my mic, but that was part of the reason. Um, but the other reason was because I had uh, driven to my... It's actually really intense. I love it though. I'm gonna keep that. But I am gonna change it. Uh, I, I did get the mic figured out uh, yesterday, but Thursday I was at my parents. Um, but um, basically I decided on Thursday that I hadn't seen my parents in a while, and it was time to um, let them have some grandparent time, so uh, yeah. Good thing I didn't come out to see the band. By what what happened with the band? He literally couldn't stop himself from playing eight minute songs. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't know why he does that, but uh, yeah, it's it's kind of rough. I I miss uh, the jazz coasters because they are a lot better at that kind of stuff. So, um, someone might need to drop a line to Jesse and be like, Hey, uh, can we have the jazz coasters back? So, I, I don't know if they, uh... I don't know if they are more, um, like, expensive or what. I don't know why it's just been been loving lately. Yeah, you're either tied up with someone for an entire time, or you're sitting out the entire time. Oh, they've already, like, booked him for the next few months? Like, it's on the event calendar? Yikes. <sighs> Good to know. Um... Uh... Yeah, honestly, I've... What the... Stream loops. <laughs> Wow. Okay. That was interesting. That was very interesting. So was that like one of my bots or... I don't... Okay. I'm just confused, so... <laughs> it was a spam bot. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Here's the thing, though. I used to be... I, I was hooked up by, uh, with stream loots at one point, though. So, I don't remember if I had a timer set for that. Let me, let me check. Yeah, yeah, I, I set up stream loots through, um, for, like, um, what was it? Yeah, no, stream loots, because stream loots has, um, like card packs for um, like specific actions, 
like for Sea of Thieves specifically, because um, if you like activate, this is way too intense. No. Um, if you choose a certain card, it will um, like keep you from doing some kind of action for uh, Sea of Thieves. Like, for an example, if you do a certain amount of wood, um, um, yeah, for like boards and stuff. I do stuff in the right. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I that that's the weird thing, though. Um. That's literally never triggered for the last couple of times, so, like, I don't know if it's just, like, it triggers every two hours, or maybe I haven't streamed a full two hours before? I don't know. Who knows? I don't. Please help. <laughs> mm. I just bonked myself in the face. That is... Yeah. Hey, watch it. Anyways, um, yeah, I thought I had, I definitely thought I had. Anyways, I am starting to run low on, like, blood sugar, as I'm feeling that, like, low blood sugar, low blood sugar feeling, and obviously my speaking ability, capability, is starting to run out. I usually don't actually adhere to the timer, timer, but, uh, yeah, um, not, yeah, there's not that much to it anyways. So, let's go ahead and call it quits for stream. Yeah, we did talk about a goofy bot for five minutes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed stream. I think um, next, oh yeah, schedule. Um, so next Tuesday, uh, the, the way that I've been structuring our schedule lately has been Tuesdays is a E for Everyone game, Thursday is a demo, and Saturday is AI Somnium Files, but we also have a craft stream that we have to do. So, um, I'm thinking that crafts will be, um, next week, maybe, because it's the first, is it the first Saturday of February? Let me double check. No, it's not. Uh, that's two weeks from now. Okay, so that's actually how, um, you're going to be in Chicago then? Hey, that's, that's why you said that you weren't going to be able to go to Uno. That's unfortunate, because that's actually the day that I was going to probably choose because the most people said that they could be there. Okay, um... Get to know. Anyways, what I'm thinking is, um, <laughs> all the offense was taken. Um, uh, how dare you? Unfritted forever. Um, okay, so what my plan is on the 4th of February, since it's the first February, or not the first February of the month, 
wow, I really need food. First Saturday of the month, I was thinking that, um, like, community challenges are going to be, uh, done on the first Saturday of the month, so, um, I will do the craft stream on February 4th. So next Saturday will still be AI Somnium Files. Cool. Um, but, so that means Tuesday uh, will be more Nancy Drew. Thursday will be uh, a demo stream, which will be Calico, I believe, is next on the uh, Gifted Games. So I will go ahead and play Calico on Thursday, which is a cat game, I believe. So, and it was actually given to me by Callie, which is funny as heck, because Callie gave me the Calico game, which is just perfect. But yeah. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the game. My brain is absolutely shorting out. Um, hope you enjoyed the stream. And I will see you guys later. I am going to sign off now before my brain completely quits. Have a great one and stick around after the credits to join the raid to the next streamer. Bye.